Hello, this is Rick. I'm getting ready to do another spot test on some more for a client. And this right here is the Aqua Regia Digest I did on the order. Let's see if I can get this light where you can see it. There we go. And yeah, welcome to my messy workspace again. You get to see all the scrap in the background. Anyway, here's the ore. And the Aqua Regia Digest off the ore anyway. And we're going to put some in the spot testing dish, and then we're going to test it with potassium iodide and stannous chloride to see what kind of reaction we get. Alright, we've got enough right there for a simple test. This hasn't been noxed either, this is straight aqua regia off the ore after I got through letting it digest until it quit bubbling. Definitely had it hot, so whatever was in the ore is in solution, and this is the reaction we are fixing to get. Okay, this is with stannous chloride. And there we go, there's an immediate reaction. Oh, you put a lot of stannous in there, it gets black. I wish to zoom on my camera worked. It doesn't work, so all I can do is get it close. And hopefully you'll be able to see the reaction. Barely. But yeah. It's visible. <laughs> and of course, I ended up with a can put Stannis in both. Alright, well, easy enough. We got enough here for a third test. We'll put some fresh aqua regia there. Spin the cap off. And we'll test this one with potassium iodide and see what happens. Oh. Yeah, that's a reaction. Bang, bang. There we go. Yep, that is the reaction that suggests that the ore contains palladium. The other one with the stannis indicated that it contained gold. I have no idea if I'm even pointing the camera at the dish anymore. I'm reaching across my left hand trying to get some more stannis. Let's see if we can make it react again with stannis. Not very strong. That's as good as it gets. It ain't got a very strong reaction with stannous chloride for gold, but with the potassium iodide, it reacts pretty heavy. You see it already going back clear. It's because it hasn't been noxed, hasn't been boiled down or anything. I'm shortcutting. It doesn't matter. The reaction doesn't hold, but whenever you put it in there, you can clearly see if the reaction takes right off. So, that's why I don't do the boil down procedure whenever I'm doing my tests. You can see it dissolving, going away. Yeah, of course, that's why you're supposed to do the boil down. That way, whenever you get a reaction, it holds. But If you're just looking for a quick hint, you can test with stannous chloride and potassium iodide straight on aqua regia and not have to worry about it. If it's there, you're going to get a reaction. And just bottom line. I'm going to still have a little bit of stannous chloride left in my tube here. I'll try to draw it out right quick. Reach across my left hand, got the can held in my right. Oh yeah, that's the last of the stannis I had made up. Let's see if we can get this thing to react good. Nope, not really. Yeah, put a few more drops. You know, It goes away pretty quick, but at least that's showing a reaction between the aqua regia and the stannous chloride. Good as it gets, people. Ain't got a whole lot of gold in your ore, but you clearly do have a reaction here for palladium that's rather strong. I like this reaction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You add someone else's ore, huh? But, there you go. There's some more quick hint reactions. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye bye.